Hey there guys, it's me Mr. Ten. Today, um, um, I am going to be reviewing some new stuff I got when I was on vacation last week. It, sorry I haven't been making videos for about a week or two, I don't know. But I was on vacation last week. So if you all were worried I was quitting or anything, I'm not. I've just been gone. I'm back now. Um, school for me is starting next Thursday, so I won't be able to make videos like as much as I did in the past few months. I'm going to have to tone it down a bit because I'm going into high school. And um, so, yeah. But anyways, here's some of the new stuff I got. Hope you guys like it. Oh. This is just a little minor thing. Um, my sister and my mom were on vacation also. And, um, while I was gone. And then, um, they went to a few museums and stuff and they found me this. It's a sand picture. Um... There was a sand picture in Baby Van Gogh, but that one was purple. Oh, come on. That one's purple. Mine is green. Video Toy Gamer also has this, so we now have the same sand picture. How cool is that? Um, I like it a lot. It's really cool. You just make really cool sand pictures with it. You can flip it over. What's annoying though is that the bubbles always get caught in the holes, which makes it harder for the sand to come out. But if you move the bubbles out of the holes, look how fast it goes. It's really flowing now. Oh, the bubbles are now going up. Awesome. Okay. This was in Baby Van Gogh, but the one Baby Van Gogh was purple. This one's green. I like it a lot, though. I think it's really cool. I don't know how rare it is, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. But you can make all sorts of cool things. You can make, like, mountains of sand and stuff on these little black platforms and stuff like I just did. Yeah, it comes on a cool little base also. Here, sorry. This may be a minute. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. Next, I got the Rabbit and Hat Puppet by Folk Manage Puppet from Neighborhood Animals. This is really cool. I love it. So there's a little hole at the bottom of the hat where you put your hand in. Yeah. And then... Once your hand is in there, you're able to push the rabbit out. Sorry, you can't see it great. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this. Mm.
It's really cute. I like it a lot. And this is from Neighborhood Animals. And it's not really rare. It's pretty easy to find. Um, but yeah. I love it. It's very, very funny. I really don't collect that much puppets though. Like, I don't have any, like, I don't have any legends or lore puppets. I just have, like, um, stuff by Folk Manus and, like, other stuff. Next, this one's pretty cool. The Ooze Tube from Lullaby Time. The one in Lullaby Time was purple, though, but this one's blue. But, um... Yeah, the one in Lullaby Time is purple, this one's blue. So, the colors come in blue and red. Only for this kind. I don't know if you could see it, but this, there is a company. It says Carlisle Company. So this is by Carlisle Company, not Westminster, Inc. I'll give you more proof. Most of the ooze tubes are by Westminster, Inc., but mine is Carlisle, 100%. So here it is. It is giant and I love it. So you can flip it over. It goes a lot faster than the triple loose tube, surprisingly. And it is super big, like, my hand can't even fit around it, because it's so big. I imagine this to be way smaller, but no. It's not. So here's proof that's by Carlisle Company. I don't know if you can see it, because the ooze is kind of not really... Letting me show. Oh, there we go. It says Carlisle right, right here. It says Carlisle. So this is by Carlisle Company. So I don't want any comments saying that it's by Westminster Inc. Because it's not. Most of the ooze tubes are by Westminster Inc. But this one's by Carlisle. Yeah, I love it a lot. I love this and the trip loose too, as a matter of fact. Like, I think both are awesome. It goes pretty... It doesn't go for like 10 minutes like the trip loose too does. This is the same thing as the trip loose tube, except this is just one. Trip loose tube has like three. It's three triple... It's three ooze tubes, but in one. And it's not circular, it's rectangular. Or, in other words, it's not a circle like this one or a tube. It's a kind of a big square. Like little rectangle tubes. It's way smaller than this. Okay guys, this brings me
Hey guys, it brings me to my last item. That item is the Asteroid Kinetic. I finally got it. That, it's by Carlisle Company again. So most people who own this um, have this version, and it's pretty cool. I think the Carlisle Company's slogan for their items are Genius at Play, or something. This says Perpetual Motion. The Kinetic Asteroid is a piece of revolving art for your office or room decor. This kinetic sculpture has several brightly colored metallic balls that rotate like a ferris wheel. It will keep you mesmerized for hours. Once started, it keeps going until you stop it. Huh. Sounds a lot like spinning balls, the kinetic. But it's actually way different. Like, yeah, it uses balls like spinning balls does, but it has more balls and it works a bit differently I'm gonna get it out for you guys So here's the base, another proof, it says Carlisle on the battery. Here's the sticks, let me put this, I'm gonna put it on my binder I had for last year. Here's the kinetic. So even if you give it a little push like that, it'll keep going. Just watch. See how it's going um, not faster, but, like, higher. Whoa, did you see that? It turned over completely on its own. Sometimes it spins over twice. I'm not even kidding. Like, it spun over twice for me. Uh, am I due at this time? Let's see... No. <gasps> Wait, 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 nope. But yeah, it's really cool. I like it. So like, even if you just give it a push like that, it'll just keep going and going. Like it said on the box. But yeah, that's pretty much, much it, guys. That's all the stuff I got on vacation. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos soon. And, um, oh, a little update on the Baby Van Gogh remake. Also, wait, Asteroid was not in any BE movies. It's just a kinetic that I really love. And a lot of BE enthusiasts have. But, um, now to the Baby Van Gogh remake. Um...
I have been having trouble uploading it to Drive and stuff because my memory is completely full. It's what I just figured out yesterday. So I'm going to try to find another way to upload it. Or I can just delete a bunch of stuff on there. I'm probably going to delete a bunch of stuff on there. But I'm just saying, like, my memory is full. So if you guys are wondering why I haven't done crap about it, don't get mad at me. It's because of the memory. 100% the memory. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos soon. Bye, guys.